Okay, here's a video that I'm, I'm going to show you of like a, a single leg landing. And you can see we've got the box in the background where, where I've used like two leg landings and to just make it safer for our trainer so she doesn't do an ACL. Um, I'm going to show you the, the good and the bad in the same video here of, of what, what happens when you, want, when you land, how you want to keep that alignment, keeping the ankle and the hip working together to look after that knee. So we'll play a couple of times. We'll see Ellie as she lands and she should maintain that nice landing and then jumping straight up as if she's going to landing and then jumping up to catch a ball or something like that. All right, and we'll watch her do it again. And we'll pause at the, the bottom this time to see if she maintains that alignment. All right, see so if she goes. Um, bang. All right, so right there is where we want to see if she's sort of got that exactly where we want. And I'm pretty happy with that. Like, I haven't seen any disastrous rolling in. A little bit, but very minimal. All right, so that was the landing, and then she jumps up. And, you know, and then here she comes down. And she should maintain this alignment again if she's good enough. Yeah, not too bad. All right. Okay, so now let's um, let's have a look what happens when she continues. And you'll see the poor one done on the next bit. All right. Which we didn't want to get too many of these because it would, you know, very risky. All right, so let's have a look. All right. <laughs> so you can see why I didn't want her to do too many of them. All right, so as she lands, see how this knee just rolls right in. That's quite exaggerated, but, you know, again, I have seen some instances where people do this sort of a movement and they're not aware of it at all. That, that is where you are going to really do some serious damage if you do enough of those. All right, and see how her body's too upright. She doesn't land with her butt behind her. Uh, you know, a very, very risky um, movement pattern that you need to identify... You know, a lot of single leg squats on their own and then single leg squats jumping and then single leg squats landing from a height. And then single leg squats landing from a height with jumping straight after it. You know, that's really how you need to progress this exercise and, um, you know, break it up so you, you can safely say you're going to prevent this injury from ever being a problem for you. Um, you know, and then at the same time you'll improve performance like you've never thought before. All right, so I hope you've uh, enjoyed these videos and, uh, and they help you uh, to identify any weakness in your movement. All right, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.